Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. So I located this last time, but I forgot about it. I located it when we walked down the ice and it was all sketchy. I'm assuming it's gonna get real deep. Right here somewhere. So far so good. I know it's a bank day and I can see the bubbles right here. Looks like it runs right here. Oh, I got a rebar up. Love that. I love to see that, even though you don't really want your rebar to come up. But it's like when you're setting throw lines for catfish and you can see a bobbin. You know you had something taken. So I'm gonna look right here. Minding my steps here. That's why right there. That's pretty deep. That's pretty deep. See, so you guys can kind of see the hut there. There's a big tree right here on the ground. As 3.30 would say, that's not ideal. Feed beds right here, a little bit of one. I can feel the A run, but I don't like it. There's nowhere to put anything. It's just littered with big trees right here. Maybe there's something over that way. So far, I don't feel anything worth the shit. There's gotta be a run here somewhere. Okay, I'm stuck in a tree here. Right here. Oh, geez. Wasn't sure what that was at first. Boy, there's so many trees on the bottom. That's less than ideal. But I know they're here. So much trees, look at this. Everywhere I move, there's a tree around my leg. Okay, right here. Bumble trail's coming out of there, going through all these trees. Almost impossible. Like how are they even doing it? This is why I don't like messing around where, where huts are. Right there. The best I got is right here. We can get a if we can get a trap right here. We should be able to catch one. That's good to know. Okay, so basically right here is our run. You can see the bubbles, they confirm it. We'll go this way. It goes uphill for sure here. Yeah. Well, now we know though, through all the uh, exploring we've done, we know that this turns into a small stream and it runs up to multiple beaver dams. But there's a lot of traveling going back and forth here. Raccoon. Darn it. Stinking raccoon. He wasn't our target, but he's dead nonetheless. We were hoping for a beaver, but we didn't get him. 
Not at the moment, anyways. Well, guys, here's one of the dams. And there's another dam right up that way, and I'm assuming there's one more down that way. <coughs> we start by looking for crossovers. As you can see, we have one right here. And with this being open, they're probably going to be traveling from pond to pond while everything's still open. So we want a foothold here, either on the bottom or on the top, whatever works the best. And it's looking like up here because I can see some debris down there that would stop them from drowning. So here's one set right here. Now, it looked like I could see where one was climbing up over here on this other side, so we're gonna look for a bank then. What's up guys? Uh, <clears throat> so we have a fence that's the property line and above that I could see just the, the best looking uh, crossover I've ever seen. So made a few phone calls and we're trying to talk to the homeowner that owns that side. Uh, so until then, I can just stare at that beautiful crossover. But I got two crossovers I'm gonna set here. There's a dam there and there's one up there. And then there's that fence that I know they gotta be going under it. So I'm gonna put a 330 there, brush it in a little bit. The only thing that, about that fence is it's really soft, you know, but it's really deep, so that might make a difference. Normally you want a hard bottom when you're putting your traps in. Walked all this, no bank dents. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't know if you can make it out, but I got me a trail cut all through the ice, clear down that way. I found two spots where they dive under a tree that are really deep and hard bottom. And you can kind of feel where that channel used to be. So I'm going to put a couple 330s in those holes. It's really deep. And then I'm going to bust that dam down there and get some activity started. We want them to come to the crossovers and climb them. I can't find any bank then, so there's nothing living in here. But they sure are cutting trees down. Look at this. I just think that there's one bank den I found. I think there are a lot of them living in that one bank den. And the rest of them are traveling from up there. They got to be traveling down and in the summertime they're traveling from that pond that pond where i'm catching all the beavers and i just caught the raccoon it's just right there they're traveling up this and doing all this damage so until the ice comes off i don't know how many i'm going to get once that ice comes off and they're moving again i mean they're just chewing trees everywhere so we're going to set all these spots we're gonna even going to go up there and we're going to set the small creek and try to get them coming because they might come they work their way up this way since I've been down there trapping. A lot of times if you trap somewhere, you push them. So that's why I want all these crossovers set. So if, if I catch one there and scares them all out and they start heading for a different place, I'll get them on their way out. Well, that's the plan anyways. But they sure are cutting down some trees. But that's where I'm at right now. Battery went dead in the middle of wading through there. So I just said hell with it and kept going. But I will show you down there when I get down to that point. So far, she's wide open. There's wide open water, so we'll see what happens. What do you guys think? There's a lot of sign. There's definitely a lot of beavers here at this property. I just don't know how many are still up here and how many are down there at the main pond for winter. But there is definitely a couple up here, but there... we'll see. We'll definitely see. I've seen footprints, so. Well, guys, I apologize if the I apologize if the screen is wet, but it's snowing decently. So, basically, we're just gonna come in here, put a crossover set here. I'd love to get one on that other side, but it's not gonna happen. We want to get as deep into this mud as we can because it's not very hard. See my hags drowners or sliders bent some, so that's less than ideal. Hopefully they go down it. Still. All we're doing 
as we know that they're going in and out right here. You know, to be honest, I could might be able to even put a uh, conover on underneath that log right there. I didn't even think about that because they're going to dive as soon as they go under. Yeah, I didn't notice that first round. Definitely notice it now. build up this bottom some take away some of their mud here I'm gonna put this trap right here so that they when they come to climb over they're toast all right like I say, I'll probably end up bringing a, I'll check that and see how much of a hole is there. Might open it, oop, just dropped that right on the pan. <laughs> I might have opened it just a wee too much. We wanted to shut up some. We don't want it. We don't want them pushing mud up and setting off our trap. We want them to cross it. This hinge cut here. <laughs> Freaking hinge cut. <clears throat> Show my trees damaged here. There's some fish in this thing. I don't know what it was, but there was a pretty big boils. We might get them in that 330. <laughs> that big old catfish or something. Well, I don't know what else to do to be honest. Besides break that dam and put a couple 330s down that way. Until I can set that crossover, we won't have this 100% secure. I'll get them going under that fence, but I want to get them going up that and down that. I want to put one on each side of that crossover on the other property. It's big. So, well, we got another crossover to set over here and then see what happens. I don't know if I'm going to set anything down that way, maybe to the main creek. But I don't know if I'm going to set underneath those deep limbs until I drop the water level. They even had a small, small dam up that way. There's so many dams for no bank dens. Hopefully we can catch something. I can tell where the old ditch was for sure. Right here.
Make sure your ground rod is free of debris so your slider can work. I'll put this guy right here. Let's make me a nice little bed there. That's where they're climbing over. And get them on their way back. And now we go down and break that dam, which ought to be fun. So we got a dam, a dam, a dam, another dam, and God knows what else is down that way. No bank tents. No banking dens whatsoever. And there's probably going to be a spot there I can put a 330 also. He dives right down underneath of that log. Yep. That's exactly where we want to be. I think I just popped that up. I don't want that up there. Basically, goes up right there. Oh man, that thing's junk. I need a better stick. Jesus. You? No. Well, shit. Gotta be a good stick here somewhere. I don't like looking for sticks. I just thought I had one right there. This one might work. There's so many on the ground. This dam's been here for a while. They had it located until my stick broke. There we go. So he's going to dive down right through there. Get that guy out. So nothing interferes with the setting off of the trap. Solid bottom. Perfect. Uh. 
There we go. There's another one. He's gonna, if one gets caught in there and dies, our other guy will come diving in and get murdered too. We possibly have a double here. All right. We got some thick ice and thin ice, thick ice, thin ice. I basically come in here. This is, them dams are up that way. There's where I've been trapping. I wanna see if them beaver are got enough bank bins that they're making their way up here. There's, there's open water here, but it gets to be like four inches of ice up a ways. These maybe some two beavers are making work for it. It's no joke. I'll tell you what, that'd be a good spot for a 330 right there when they are cruising up here. Soft, really soft bottom. They're not diving under that at all. There's multiple. There's gotta be this beaver living up top here. But I gotta, I gotta get them. They're not making their way down yet. There's chewings there. Looks like the deer were here right before I was. There's some streams. Yeah, I'd say since we got the crossovers covered, anyone that bails will get should get them. In the summertime, these would all be good spots to set. Or early fall. And right up here's that dam. We're gonna punch a hole in it. See if we can get some beavers moving down and I'll try to fix it. And we'll come back tomorrow and check. Hopefully be able to go set that other side. This is a pretty good sized dam here. Be a good one for some tanner, right? You know? I mean That almost looks like something climbed in and out right there. Let's see, I guess. It's okay to break this one because I don't have any traps here. I do want to put a few there, but it's so deep. I'll just get the water level down some. It's a little bit different than the other pond where the water dropped two foot and suddenly all my bank bins were out of the water. We'll see if they fix it. If they fix it, there's... I don't know how they're going to get here, but... What do you guys think? There's a lot of chewing for just, I think it's just a bunch of beavers that have been booted out from the main lodge and they're, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Traveling, I guess. Bring some more drowners tomorrow. I found where they're climbing out. So we will set those spots. See if we have any catches. But there's trees all over right there chewed up. There's trees down everywhere. 
it's a workout. For those of you that have never beaver trapped, it's a, it's a lot of work. I'm just walking. I broke through the ice all along there, went around that way. I came from that way. So many trees underwater. It's real deep along there. I know that at some point I will catch beaver there. It'll probably be early spring though. But man, so much underwater trees. All right, well, I gotta get my way back out of here. Kind of pretty with the snow. Moving on.